Hello friends, I am Dr. S.B. Kolle, Department of Physics, Shivaji Arts, Commerce and Science College, Kannad, District, Chhatrapati, Sambhaji Nagar, Maharashtra. So friends, types of capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, paper capacitor, mica capacitor, non-polarized capacitor, film capacitor, ceramic capacitor. So we will see electrolytic capacitor. In this capacitor, anode has higher voltage than cathode and it uses electrolyte to operate. Anode terminal is denoted by plus sign while cathode is denoted by minus sign. The reverse polarity voltage of 1 to 1.5 volts may destroy this capacitor. An electrolytic light used in this capacitor is in the form of solid, liquid or gel. Anode made of metal acts as insulating oxide layer form to anodization. Now this allows an oxide layer to work as dielectric of the capacitor. This is the image of this electrolytic capacitor. It used in DC power supply circuits. Now second is paper capacitor. This image is of paper capacitor. Construction of this paper capacitor is between two thin foil sheet and they are separated from paper, oiled paper or thin waxed. Capacitance range of Load node 1 to 2 microfarad and voltage range of up to 2000 volt. Sandwich of the thin foils and papers, they rolled into cylindrical shape and then it is enclosed into plastic capsule. The two thin foils of paper capacitor attached to external loader. Now, mica capacitor. Here in this mica capacitor, silicate mineral mica is used as direct medium material and it can be found in rocks, granites. Types of this mica capacitor are clamp capacitors, silver mica capacitor. Clamp mica capacitors are considered an obsolete due to their inferior characteristics. Silver mica capacitors are prepared by sandwiching mica sheet coated with metal on both sides and this assembly is then encased in epoxy to protect from the environment. Mica capacitors are used in the design calls for stable, reliable capacitor of relatively small. Now non-polarized capacitors. They are classified into plastic foil capacitor and electrolytic non-polarized capacitor. Plastic foil capacitor is non-polarized by nature and electrolytic capacitors are generally two capacitors in the series which are in back to back. The non-polarized capacitors requires the AC applications in the series or parallel with signal. Speaker crossover filters or factor correction network are examples of this capacitor. Significant AC voltage signal is placed across the capacitor in these two applications. Film capacitor. It uses thin plastic as dielectric. The film may be metallized depend upon the properties of the capacitor. To protect from the environmental factor, electrodes are added and they are assembled. Now types of this film capacitor are polyester film, metallized film, polypropylene film, PT film, polystyrene film. But core difference between these two types, between these types is the material used as dielectric. These capacitors are used for stability, low inductance and low cost. Now ceramic capacitor. Ceramic material is used as dielectric. The types of these ceramic capacitors, multi-layer ceramic capacitor, ceramic disc capacitor. Multi-layer capacitors, ceramic capacitors are prepared by using surface mounted technology and they are smaller in size. Values of these ceramic capacitors are between 1 nanofarad to 1 microfarad. The values are up to 100 microfarad are possible. Ceramic disc capacitor are manufactured by coating ceramic disc with silver contacts. 
on both sides and to achieve with larger capacitance. These devices are made from multiple layers. They have high frequency responses due to parasitic effects like resistance and inductance. I am thankful to wetelectronics.com and nprocus.com. Thank you.